in this video we're going to focus on the only item that I forgot in the previous video which was about this and if I click on this you see it's height or show it as well here these data labels here were not responding and so we're going to now solve this tiny issue here quickly in this video we're going to focus on how to hide show data labels in a scatter chart in chart.js and this is basically part two so this is based on another video that I have here which I created about how to add data labels in the scatter chart but when I made this one I discovered one issue here and that was this if you click on this you can see here we are hiding the line but what we're not hiding is the data labels so when I noticed this at at the time it was too late to fix that so I thought fair enough let's make a separate video that covers this specific issue luckily it's a very tiny adjustment in the code so the first thing that we're going to do is we go down here and we're going back to our code here so if you want to understand what this code all does and how we did this all please watch this video because this is basically part one and in here the only thing that we want to adjust here is basically within this specific section here and what we're going to do here is basically create an if statement. And this if statement will only check for one thing. Well, let me show you what I'm going to tell, what we're going to use. Let's do a console log. And this console log will say the following. Chart dot is data set visible. And then we can put in here the number. So let's say here data set zero. So basically the question is, is it being shown yes or no and we're using a chart we don't use ctx here this is very important because the chart will focus spe specifically on the canvas itself so when it's fully drawn so if i save this now here and then go back here and refresh open up the developer tab you can see it is true and if we select this it becomes false so it recognizes the moment we select stuff it starts to change and you might say why is it also here or responding if we do this here well, the answer is very straightforward or simple is because we are here focused on data set number zero. So it will just do anything no matter what. So what we want to do now is first figure out how can we say if it is true for data set one and if it's true for the other data set or data set zero and data set one. So to do this quite straightforward, we need to make a if statement. And this if statement will say the following. We'll say here just exactly the same chart that is data set visible then in here we put in the x as the x was related to the data set itself and if that is the case then we say true or equals strict true and if that is the case we say ctx dot fill style and then we can say here the color that we want the default color that chart has uses is hashtag and then triple six so we can use that one it's a nice dark grayish color and that is basically what we're doing here if this is not true what are we going to do then we say here here else else if it's not true we'll just make this we make it uh transparent so it's not anymore visible is it transparent and once we did this and we save this we can now refresh here and if i remove this you can see now the data labels are starting to disappear and if I do it here for the blue one same story and here there you are in the blue there you are so that's basically how we do it and this is basically how we can create the data labels and show and hide them nicely so if you like this video there's also another video I highly would recommend is to continue on with how to add images on top of multiple data sets uh, in a bar chart it's quite similar to what we've done so far in the previous two videos and it's a good practice but now instead of the data labels we're now putting in images on top of a bar 